All right, everyone, we have some breaking news here. The Supreme Court of Texas has ordered the release of the jailed hairstylist Shelley Luther. That's what we'll be talking about on today's video. We're going to take a look at the whole controversy that's surrounding Luther. It's really fascinating. And how her release from prison demonstrates that the days of left-wing liberals calling the shots over our lives are indeed over. You're going to absolutely love it. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Awesome to be with you as always. If this is your first time here on this channel, we post two videos a day analyzing current events and lives from super awesome conservative trends so you can live in the present. A lot of even better things to come, and you're going to enjoy those trends today, that's for sure. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. It'd be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel, where we together daily celebrate the inevitable collapse of left-wing globalism and the unstoppable rise of a new conservative age. Now, before we get into this very fascinating development in Texas, let's give a huge shout out to the sponsor of our video today, and that's the Backup Solar Bank. In the midst of this whole emergency situation, we're finding ourselves in one of the best things you can invest in for your and your family's protection when the lights go out is what's called a solar power bank. It's a backup power bank that's powered by the sun. It allows you to charge up to two devices at once, and you'll never, ever have to waste money on batteries again. Now, limited supply lasts, and this is the very last chance to get yours at a discount before they sell out so don't wait click on the link below right now and give you and your family the gift of power anywhere in the world it's so cool click on the link below or visit backupsolarbank.com and use promo code turley 20 to get 20 percent off you'll be glad that you did all right gang this is an amazing development in the battle between red states that want to reopen the nation and the deep state left the blue states that are doing everything they can to keep the nation closed now let me give you a bit of a backstory here so we're all up to speed a dallas hair salon owner named shelly luther made headlines last week when she defied texas lockdown orders and opened up her hair salon for business. Now, the conservative Texas governor, Greg Abbott, is allowing for hair salons to reopen, but not until Friday of this week, which is tomorrow. But that wasn't good enough for Shelley Luther, who said, look, I'm sorry, I respect the spirit of lockdown orders and all that, but there is no way around this. I have no choice. I need to feed my family, and my stylists need to feed their families. And so we're getting back to work right now. So she was sent a cease and desist orders from the state to close her shop, which she ignored. She actually publicly ripped up the orders. And so she was threatened with government fines as well as the possibility of jail time. And still, she refused to shut her business down. And so Luther was arrested and brought before this judge, Moye is his name, who in turn demanded that she in effect recant of what she did. The judge told Luther that she could avoid jail if she just admitted that she was wrong and selfish. Take a look that you now see the error of your ways and understand that the society cannot function where one's own belief in a concept of liberty permits you to flaunt your disdain for the rulings of duly elected officials, that you owe an apology to the elected officials whom you disrespect, disrespected by flagrantly ignoring and in one case defiling their orders which you now know obviously apply to you. That you understand that the proper way in which an or in an ordered society to engage concerns which you may have had is to hire a lawyer and advocate for change, an exception or an amendment to laws that you find offensive. That you publicly state that this is the way that citizens in the state should behave and that you represent to this court that you will today cease operation of your salon and not reopen until after further orders of, this, of the government permit you to do so. This court will consider the payment of a fine in lieu of the incarceration which you've demonstrated that you have so clearly earned. Is there anything you would like to say? So it's very clear here, as her attorneys pointed out later on, that Luther, and again, for you church history buffs, is that not so cool? Is that not ironic? A person named Luther is brought before a tribunal and forced to recant what this person has done and what 
this person believes. And I wanted her to say, you know, unless I can convince by holy scripture or plain reason, I do not accept the authority of this council. I cannot and I will not recant anything. For to go against conscience is neither right nor safe. Here I stand. I sh can do no other. So help me, God. This is for all you Lutherans out there. Well, let's put it this way. Shelley Luther didn't disappoint in her response. Take a look. Proceed. Judge, I would like to say that I have much respect for this court and laws. And that I've never been, been in this position before. And it's not some place that I want to be. But I have to disagree with you, sir, when, I, when you say that I'm selfish. Because feeding my kids is not selfish. I have hairstylists that are going hungry because they'd rather feed their kids. So, sir, if you think the law is more important than kids getting fed, then please go ahead with your decision, but I am not going to shut the salon. I mean, wow! I mean, this woman has more courage in her pinky than Joe Biden has in his entire lifetime. I mean, really, that was awesome! And so, as you would expect, this judge turned around and threw Shelley Luther in prison in jail uh, for seven days uh, and a fine of $7,000. And as a result, we'll just say the state of Texas exploded and you don't mess with Texas. Almost immediately, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton released a statement calling on Luther's immediate release. He tweeted out, Shelley Luther should immediately be released from jail. Locking her up is a misguided abuse of power, especially considering Dallas County release real criminals to protect them from COVID-19. Governor Greg Abbott quickly followed suit, calling the jailing of Luther an outrageous abuse of power on the part of the judge. Tucker Carlson featured the attorney for Luther on his show, which brought a massive amount of awareness at the national level over the whole situation. So much so that Shelley Luther is now being called the symbol of the revolution, the real resistance against excessive government power and lockdowns. And so Governor Abbott changed his own executive order on the lockdown. He announced that he eliminated the penalty of jail for violating a lockdown order retroactive to April 2nd, superseding local orders. It's absurd that criminals are being released from prison over COVID-19 fears just to put business owners in their place. That's what Governor Abbott said. So bravo to him. He is definitely a future presidential contender. No question on that one. Remember, Governor Abbott is the only governor in the nation, I believe the only one who has banned foreign refugees from being processed and housed in Texas. I mean, this guy is the real deal. So he sees one of his citizens getting abused like this and Abbott to his credit, steps up to the plate and he changes his very own executive order that the judge used to jail Luther. So her attorneys immediately took the new executive order and expedited it to the Texas Supreme Court, which promptly ordered the release of Shelley Luther from jail. And that is, as they say, that is that. So now there's a couple of takeaways here in all of this. Shelley Luther proved what we can do when we realize that we conservatives far outnumber globalist liberals. When we conservatives recognize that we are the majority, in some places like Texas, the super majority, there is absolutely no reason on the planet for us to continue to comply with left-wing liberal deep state hacks that are hangovers from a world gone by. Yes, leftist globalism once reigned over our nation. It came in the form of both Democrats and Republicans, both the center left and the center right. For example, can you even just imagine what a Bush would have done with Shelley Luther? Can you even think about, I mean, or a McCain or a Romney? They would have accused her of being this extremist right wing nut and disavowed her completely in front of the approving gaze of the mainstream Marxist media. But a new breed of conservatives has begun to take over. Conservatives who identify far more with the Pat Buchanan nationalist populist wing of the Republican Party, which turns out to be 90-95% of the rank and file of the Republican Party. The nationalist populist wing of the Republican Party, led by President Trump, 
is standing side by side with patriots and business owners and Americans who just want to go back to work. And that's why it's red states that are reopening, all the while blue states continue to extend their lockdown orders and effectively shut down their economies for the foreseeable future. That's why it's the red states that are going to lead this economic revival, this economic renewal, all the while blue states are going to be trying to play catch up. And that's going to have a very interesting dynamic, I think, going into November with Trump clearly on the side of Texas and other red states that are opening their economies back up. As much as the Marxist media is doing everything they can to disparage these states and these measures and these governors, as much as left-wing liberals are, tr liberals are trying to bring down President Trump in the midst of this pandemic and exploit it for their own leftist, liberal, and devious schemes, Shelley Luther has proven that when conservatives stand together, we simply cannot be beaten. The left-wing globalist world is cracking. It's falling apart. And Shelley Luther and the governor of Texas, as well as their Supreme Court, have together all demonstrated that the globalist leftist era is indeed coming to an end. Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my video on the deep state panicking today. Documents are being released that show that the ultra-left Democrat Adam Schiff and others knew that the entire Russian collusion fiasco was a fraud before they demanded the Mueller investigation. It's going to absolutely fire you up. So make sure to click on that link, and I will see you over there. God bless.